Yo, what's up guys? It's Foryam again back with a new quick video for V Rising. Some of you asked in my previous videos how I got my hands on certain capes. Some of them look pretty unique and indeed they cannot be found in the crafting menu. They are pretty rare but I decided to make a video for it to help you guys get your hands on some of them as they not only look nice in my opinion but they also come with some pretty good stats which are going to be useful until the end game in V Rising. So let's get right to it. Alright so I'm currently standing in my base guys and um, I currently wear the Immortals King drape. This was actually the first question from somebody who asked how I got my hands on this bad boy when I made my end game berserker build. Well. The Immortal's King Mantle is basically the Phantom's Veil. Exactly the same one as you can see stats wise. 24 max HP, 15 to Sun, Garlic, Silver, Fire and Holy Resistance. But this one basically comes from the DLC. So it's not something you can get your hands on from somewhere. Maybe you can ask somebody who has the DLC to craft it for you. But basically if you have it, then it will basically pop up right here. So the normal cloak is the Traveler's Wrap. The DLC one is the Immortal King Drape. Then we have the Hunter's Cloak, Immortal Skin Cloak, Phantom's Veil, Immortal Skin Mantle. They are exactly the same, no different stats, but they do look a little bit cooler, especially if you're wearing some red armor, in my opinion. But let's move on to some even more unique ones, which you've probably never seen, or maybe only once, but are wondering how you got those. So basically, my all-time favorite, guys is the Ashfalk Crystal Ice Cloak. And the cool thing is, all the capes which I'm going to show you right now can be found starting at the Dunley farmland, so that is pretty early in the game already, and they do come with some pretty nice stats. So this one basically makes you look a little bit like Arthas from World of Warcraft, especially with the sword, right? But um, yeah, I think this one just looks beautiful. Then we also have the Thousand Stitch Cloak, also very nice if you combine this with some bandit looking armor, let's say has all different colors and even some holes in there. Then we also have the Hermit's Shawl. I think this one looks pretty epic if you combine it with like two axes. You see those two things hanging on your back. But basically that's three capes which you cannot craft in any way. So uh, let me just show you how to get your hands on them. So basically I started farming in the Dunley farmlands in the Haunted Iron Mine. Like most people because of course you want to craft those iron tools as quick as possible. As you can see on the map, there are different areas and some of them also have a chance of spawning a golden chest. These chests are quite rare and they don't always pop up, let's say, when you enter the mines. But sometimes they do pop up and if you open them, you actually have a chance of finding cosmetics inside. I managed to find all three different cloaks inside the Haunted Iron Mine, so definitely make sure to visit this one every now and then because you will have a chance of acquiring a cape. My base is right here, so let me just show you an easy route in. Actually, two easy routes in. So if you don't want to go to the entrance of the mine, let's say, what you can do is actually enter it from this side. Here is a secret entrance. We have another secret entrance on this side. But we can just drop ourselves down exactly right here, and then we can just go into wolf form, and voila, look at that. We are already in the mines right off the bat. So right now, all we want to do is search for these golden chests. And yes, once again, guys, these are pretty rare. So this is a regular one. Most of the times they have like these bones and whetstones, so nothing too fancy. Right here, we have another casual chest. Once again, nothing special inside. So um, you're just going to keep searching for a golden chest. And if none of them pop up, you're just going to leave this place be and revisit it another time. And oh, look at that, guys. I think we are lucky. We just got our hands on one, so let me just clear the trash. Alright, so here we go. Hold to unlock. Of course, the chest is not 100%. Oh, nice. This time we found a militia helmet. So basically, you can not only find capes, but also some pretty unique headgear with this, which I already made a video for earlier. But in the Haunted Iron Mine itself, this is the very first headgear I find pretty much. All the other chests had these capes for me. So guys, definitely keep your eyes open for these golden chests. They can not only be found in the Haunted Iron Mine, but also in other regions. As you can see, this is already my second Militia Helmet right now. But basically, this is how you can get your hands on those custom items. I found capes most of the times in the Haunted Iron Mine itself. You can also find headgear, just like the straw head, which I already made a video for, which is in the top right of the screen. This one also looks pretty funky. If you want to find it, make sure to check it out. But uh, the Haunted Iron Mine, guys, 
perfect place to loot these custom caves. But keep your eyes open for other golden chests in the Dunley farmlands as well, because they all have a chance of dropping this kind of loot. Guys, a big thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. It supports the channel, so already very much appreciated. But of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Right now, it's 4am out. Take care. Peace.